What does a booger taste like? I know there's probably some of you that eat your boogers on here. I remember I played baseball with a kid that used to, he used to blow snot into his hand and lick it. Feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, what's going on everybody? The big guy Rye back here. I guess this is feeding time. This is the feeding time uh, video. Even though this it is food, and so it is feeding time. I was uh, debating doing a hot pepper uh, deal tonight, but I got this really cool hot chocolate bar coming in. I forget the name of it, but it was it was like forty bucks, and it's a whole deal. So uh, I'm gonna wait and uh, probably knock that one out next. And I had I had these I had seven hot peppers in there. I just I was like, I'll wait. I'll hold off. Uh, my sister sent me a uh, little funny thing that she said um, that I should do on the channel. She's a big fan of the channel, big fan of the big guy. Called Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled. And I said, I said, uh, Carly, that's her name. I go, what the hell is Bean Boozled? And she goes, brother? She calls me brother. It's uh, Jelly Bellies, but they also, it's a little spinning deal here, guys. So we're gonna play a little game by myself. I actually have another one up there that I'll wait for when uh, Phoenix is around, or if uh, Jade and Cole, we ever get that uh, situated, that I'll play it with them as well, unless this is so disgusting. She says it's, it's so they have real flavors, like birthday cake, berry blue, chocolate pudding, coconut, stra strawberry banana smoothie, and then toasted marshmallow, butter popcorn, peach, juicy pear, tutti frutti, and then the bad ones, guys. Stink bug, rotten egg, barf, Booger, stinky socks, dirty dishwater, toothpaste. Oh, that sounds actually pretty good. Canned dog food, spoiled milk, and dead fish. That one is definitely don't want the dead fish. Definitely don't want the dead fish. A lot of horrible memories coming back from one dead fish. Okay, this is a whole new spin on playing with your food. Guys, I'm going to, uh, it says caution, contains weird and wild flavored flavors, uh, not for children under three years old, so for the youngsters out there that, that are those two and a half year olds out here that are big fans of the channel, wait, wait half a year, guys, okay? Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to open this up. Ah, oh, shit. They're all... Uh, I wasn't prepared. They're all not situated. So what I guess I'm just gonna... Is there not a spinning board? Wait, no, there is a spinning board. What the fuck? Who organized this damn thing? Look at this. It's not even... Or, it's, I thought they were gonna be in little compartments. Shit. I gotta situate the damn colors myself? Hold on, I got it, motherfucker. This is... Oh, shit. Now I'm cussing in my... Ah! I'm in a bad mood today, guys. And now I'm gonna tell you why I'm in a bad mood. I tell you guys pretty much everything. The, uh... By the way, whoever made this... Stupid! How hard is it to have little compartments with the dead fish to separate the dead fish from the barf? From the tutti frutti, dumb little bitch. Let's. I got this. I wanted to play with the little spinning board and like spin it and pick the flavor. I guess we can edit it, Dells, down where I situate the flavors and then we come back. But then I know what I'm eating. Is it more fun, guys? I, I, why am I asking you? Because by the time I make a decision, this is you're not here with me right now. It's not live. Am I stupid? Damn it! The uh, so today, um, I was actually getting ready to go. I had my newbie, my for my the neuro neurological stuff I do for my ankle, my big toe, and my shoulder um, with Carlin Crouch, who's been on conversation with the big guy Ryback. My podcast, check it out, all podcast platforms. <laughs> and uh, right when I was going to go out the door, I was my mom, who lives in the two bedroom apartment attached to the house. I. Uh, she had scarves around the dogs, which I took pictures and put it on Instagram. 
And I wanted to get a picture of the dogs in front of the tree before I left. So we were like orchestrating that and like giving them chicken to get them to stay still. And then there was like a huge loud noise and I didn't think anything of it because I wanted the damn picture of the dogs and uh, we get it done. And then I go to leave to the gym and I notice the neighbors are all outside when I go out and I look and I see my mom's car parked up front. The whole fucking front bumpers ripped off. And I go, what the hell? And they said a car, a uh, black car, hit it. They didn't see that part though. And the car took off and went up on the curb, someone's curb. And we know the house that it came from. I don't know the car specifically, but they said it was a black car. My damn camera went out in my driveway, which would have got the, would have shown the car driving off. So ADT has to come out and fix that this Saturday. And I'm going to fix that camera to be pointing to where I get a better view uh, of the street and the area where my mom parks. And I went over and banged on the damn people's house. And I, I said, who the fuck just left your house? And, uh, and I, I know, I know without a doubt the house that it came from. Uh, there's a corner house by us that has a lot of people in and out. And uh, always oh, smoking that marijuana. And uh, mar I know it's marijuana, guys, saying it. But anyways, and, oh, no, no, you're being, you're, you're stereotyping mar No, it, you, it, it reeks of marijuana. And I'm mad because I can't, I don't have it on camera and none of the neighbor's cameras picked it up. So I can't, I don't have the confirmation to sit there and, and I got to wait now for this damn black car to show up, which they're not going to show up. And the girl that I ended up talking to and uh, the other guy, like she was supposed to come back. She ended up leaving her house really quickly thereafter to probably go get the fucked up person who was driving all up on curbs and everything. And so I'm uh, just patiently now waiting and had to call the HOA and see if we got cameras on the gates here. And cause I just need that confirmation so I can get, I know without a shadow of a doubt. And then, for my mom's so I can get the insurance of that person. And uh, if they have insurance, I don't even know. And uh, if they took off, but they, they, my thing is I think they were, they were pretty messed up, which is why they took off. But the big guy always gets to the bottom of it. So I'm just a little ticked off that I wasn't able to really, can't really do anything right now. So, and uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm just kind of, now I'm going to eat this bean boozled shit and get even more mad. I don't know. I'll try to come up with some happy stuff. It's positivity. Patience, guys. That's the lesson of the day. Patience. I can't beat anyone's ass today, so I'm patiently going to wait. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm just going to go through this, guys. And I'm going to eat, eat one of each one. And I'm not going to know what it is going. I think that's more fun than... Because if I know I'm eating a leg, I know I'm eating barf. Like, it's, it's fun, too. But when is it kind of more fun to just be like, okay, that's barf. I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to spit or swallow these. All right, we're going to start. We're just going to start being boozled, guys. I'll hold this up. I'm going to go one of each. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's. I'm going to go ahead, guys, and get one of each uh, color in here. Which is actually, technically, kind of, I could spin it and then find you know what no we don't need to we could just spin it let's just do it we're gonna do it that way that way everyone knows because this is really not orchestrated at all i was leaning more towards the hot peppers and i put an instagram vote on and everyone voted for this the the majority so let's uh spin the wheel let's see hold on oh hold on i don't okay my damn fucking sausage fingers Guys, this is, I have legit enormous hands. I should have probably been like 6'5 or 6'6. Six, six. I did steroids mildly from like 20 to 24. And I'm pretty sure it stopped me at 6'2. I was supposed to be much bigger. But that's why I'm like, I think I got like these other giant qualities. Like size 14 feet and giant hands and giant body. 6'2. Which is, again though, the perfect height for wrestling in my opinion. Because I'm just tall enough to be a badass beat down the beat the shit out of everyone type of guy but I'm also not so big that you can't get sympathy with because like, that's a really hard thing when you're like big show you can't be like selling around the ring it's just kind of it's too much but me I can so that's my theory on it you probably don't agree I don't know let's see if I can do this okay <laughs> there we go 
Ah, oh, shit. Spoiled, spoiled milk. You can't probably read it because of my damn light. It's spoiled milk, though, guys. It's, uh... I'm assuming it's this white one. Coconut spoil. Yeah, it's the only white... Oh, fuck. Spoiled milk. I got water here in my Feed Me More Nutrition Shaker bottle available on feedmemore.com. Wait. What a mind fuck. Okay, guys, I'm dumb. We've already established that. CM Punk confirmed it a long time ago. I'm joking, guys, that he made that shit up. The, uh, I like to say it, mocking him. That was coconut, but my mind, I thought it was spoiled milk. So there's one of a regular flavor, each color. The coke, and so I, I should have told you guys this. This is really embarrassing now. I didn't look, but it would make sense. Okay, so that was coconut. That wasn't bad. I thought it was going to have, you saw my reaction. I thought it was going to be horrible. I thought it, I thought it was a coconut spoiled milk. And then I realized there was two question marks on it. And then I looked at the others and realized I'm stupid. Sorry guys. I've never played Bean Boozled, but now that when I play this, I'll know the rules. All right. So that wasn't bad. That was coconut. Fucking stupid board. I break it. I broke the damn, wait, does it go back? Put it in, stick it in. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Just stick it in and shut up. All right, there we go. Son of a bitch. I just got coconut spoiled milk again. Somebody wants me to have spoiled milk. I don't want to eat this many damn jelly beans. I didn't, this is like, All right. I think that was coconut again. This is turning out to be really boring. Let's try it again. All right. This is either juicy pear or booger. Who the f this is stupid. It's the green one. So I got to take a green one out of here, guys. I know there's people that we want to see him. We want to see the jelly belly. <laughs> what does a booger taste like? I know there's probably some of you that eat your boogers on here. I remember I played baseball with a kid that used to, he used to blow snot into his hand and lick it. He was stupid. That kid was, that kid's not doing shit with his life right now. Except for sitting, he's probably a wrestling fan that talks shit online, part of the internet wrestling community. Just eating his boogers and talking shit to Evermean. Saying Finn Balor sucks, Ryback sucks, AJ Styles sucks, Daniel Bryan sucks. He hates everything because he eats his boogers. And now I'm eating a booger flavored jelly bean. Or is it a juicy pear? I don't know. <laughs> it's a pear. <laughs> this is working out really well. I've not got a bad flavor yet. <laughs> well, it's my lucky day. Damn it. Okay. This is getting... How the fuck are you supposed to... Hold on. Okay, guys. I can't... There's no... Okay, wait. Let's do that. There we go. All right, this one is, um, oh, shit. Strawberry, banana, smoothie, or dead fish. Fuck. And I think that is, oh, yeah, that looks, you can't smell them either. This is stupid. Oh, this is the one, like, out of all of them, I don't want to do. If it is, if it's strawberry, banana, that's so good. <sighs> oh! Oh, the dead fish. Fuck. Oh, it stinks so. Is, is it? Oh. 
that was absolutely, that's disgusting. And it hits the smell after it broke open, hit me in the nose. It's like rotten tuna. That was dumb. I don't know if I want to play this anymore. I got stuck in my teeth. I need to do another one. That's... This is a stupid game, guys. You guys want to get drunk with your family and play a stupid game? Go get this. What's even stupider is playing it by yourself. Come on. Get, get, put... Son of a bitch. This is turning out to be way worse than I don't, didn't want this video. This is, this is a, just a horrible video. I didn't want this to be this. I wanted this to be a quick little fun video. Okay. Dirty dishwasher or birthday cake? That's white with the damn sprinkles on it. All right. That's this one. Can't see because my damn hands are so big. Oh! This is like taking the Tide Pod Challenge, which I never did, but... Bit it out of my mouth. <clears throat> ah, shit. That's stupid. Wow. Oh. That was. I really wanted birthday cake. Keep going. You can't get the taste out of your mouth. This is a, this is a hell of a joke to play. Someone just put a jar of these. That's not a bad idea. And when guests come over, you want some jelly beans? Let them get a handful of dead fish and dishwasher, dirty dishwasher. It's not even clean. Like clean dishwater is like bad enough. Let alone dirty. What am I? Who knows? Did Ted from the Jelly Belly Company piss before they made that and use his hands over the, soak his hands in dirty dishwasher? I don't know. Okay, we can't. All right. Berry blue or toothpaste? Berry blue or toothpaste? The blue one. The blue one. Thank God I got berry blue. And in all fairness, though, berry blue is by far the best one out of all these so far. Berry blue is like an otter pop. Wow, I haven't had an otter pop since I was a kid. Man. So I guess what I'm going to do is... Ooh, toasted marshmallow or stink bug... All right, let's try that because I'm going to try to go through this. I'm not going to because I'm going to, I can't get all of these. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. What the fuck does a stink bug taste like? Okay, it's either that one or that one. Okay, toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Oh, it's a stink bug. What's the stink bug? Oh! Fuck. That's stupid. That makes me want to throw up. <clears throat> That's by far the worst out of all of them. My breath smells like, oh, I can smell it. This is the stupidest one we've done, Dells, out of all of them. This is stupid. That was a stink bug. I'm not, not eating the other one. I don't care. It tastes like toasted marshmallow. I don't want to taste. What one haven't I done? 
I don't know if I can do another one of that. I feel like I might throw up if I do. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg? That would be the, yellow, the white and the yellow one. I'm not, I'm not, guys, this isn't made up at all. These are, the disgusting ones are disgusting. The stink bug one was absolutely not worth it. This is dumb. But it's a mental challenge, right? Mental challenge to show you can do anything you set your mind to in life. Kids, you could eat a stink bug too when you grow up. This isn't going to be one of the more positive videos I've done. He'll probably do the most views too because there's a little bit of negativity in it. Oh, that one's going to make me. I don't do. The, oh. Buttered popcorn or buttered eggs or rot, buttered eggs. I wish but rotten egg. Boy. Buttered popcorn. It's not that good either, though. I mean, why would a buttered popcorn jelly bean taste good? I'll eat the other one. Wait. No, that's buttered popcorn. I just had the rotten egg and didn't even know it. That one wasn't bad. Do I like rotten eggs, maybe? The second one was definitely buttered popcorn. I just thought that first one was like, well, that one was kind of a fail. That one wasn't bad. Not bad at all. The rotten egg, didn't. they didn't really nail that one. All right, last one, guys, last one. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Well, this is going to be a real fucking treat. We'll eat one of each on this to end this. Please be the ch I don't know which one I want first. It's canned dog food. I think. Or it's really shitty chocolate pudding. Wait. No, that was chocolate pudding. My mind is playing tricks on me with this, guys. I, you read it and you just think that stink bug, though, and the dead fish. You, there was no no fake in that. There's no... Those were clearly distinguishable right off the bat. So this is the canned dog food, I think, maybe. Let's see. Nope, that was another pudding. We're ending this with canned dog food, damn it. Another chocolate pudding. Unless it's just what dog food tastes like. I like it. That's four chocolate puddings in a row. I'm not trying to eat all these damn jelly beans. Lose my abs. Did you put... That's another chocolate pudding. That's clearly chocolate pudding. I know there's no way that's the dog food. Let's try this one. Wait. No, this one's... This is embarrassing. Legit embarrassing. I just ate four of the dog food ones. This one is chocolate pudding. 
clearly, unless that's just a trick where that one is, I'm so confused by this because some of those are clearly so distinguishable. I'm going to try one more. I think the dog food, so the dog food is not bad, guys. I, I like dog food, I guess. That's why I like dogs so much. I love dogs so much. Well, there you have it, guys. This was Bean Boozle. You can get this online. I think you can get it on Amazon if you want. I'm throwing this in the damn trash. The two worst out of that were the dead fish and the... Uh... Wait, did I eat barf? Dead fish in the uh, stink bug, stink bug number one. I don't know if I ate the barf. Oh, wait, no, there's a tutti fruity and a stinky sock. Let's hold on. That's tutti fruity. That's tutti fruity. That was the only two. I think maybe some of them don't have the other flavor. This is confusing. All right, I'm done. I've been being boozled. Maybe that's why it's because you never know what they're going to give you. Well, I know I got, I got the, the damn stink bug. Guys, I'm the big guy Ryback. Thank you for watching. Please listen to my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. My Instagram is the Big Guy Ryback22. We're trying to get that figured out with Instagram killing the um, uh, engagement. We're going to switch the account back to a personal account, I was told, because they're, they're suppressing businesses and people that make money with their stuff. So we're going to switch out of that, put the business account to the Feed Me More Nutrition. Feed Me More Nutrition, my all natural supplement line, sweet with stevia and monk fruit. It looks like we're going to possibly be going to fulfillment on that to take a lot of the workload off of me, which will open up a lot of time for me to do other activities. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you can get that on feedmemore.com. Save 10% with uh, discount code YouTube10, guys. Thank you very much. This has been Bean Boozled. Get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.